What's up everyone, this is Evan with Crypto Cash Camp State. We're gonna jump in and talk about one of the things that was asked of me so many times, how to create a DAO. So it's not only how to create a DAO, it's how do you vote. So we're gonna talk about how do you get multi-sig, meaning if you just don't want one person to make all the decisions, you want a couple. This is gonna be showing you how to do that and then also how to vote. So this is the ultimate guide of how to create a DAO. So let's jump into it. So this is Crypto Cash Camp. This is where we talk all about how to make passive income in the DeFi space. I know a DAO isn't passive income, but it could be if you designed it that way. And the goal of this channel is to get a thousand of you to make 50 bucks a day. Um, it's not that hard. So check the link in the description. I'm building out a course on how to go deep, deep into DeFi and begin to make some passive income if you aren't already. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description and i think it's just launching now depending on what time you're watching this and there's a heavy discount for those of you who want to jump in so let's just jump into the content right now so this is a great website called syndicate.io i shouldn't block that right there but it's going to be right about there syndicate.io and you can turn any wallet into a web3 native investing dao and this is great you know there are a few different platforms out there uh, Argon and a couple others, but I, I'm going to go with Syndicate just because it's so clean. And I think that the main use is okay. Got a couple buddies want to buy NFTs. Uh, we want to invest together. The Syndicate would be the way to go. It is ERC 20, so there's uh, ETH gas fees, but that's part of playing playing the game. You know, it may cost a little bit, but um, that's it's well worth it if you're if you're really getting into it and you want to actually invest some real capital. So this is called Transform All Wallets into a Powerful Web3 Investment Club. And this is all centered around investment clubs. Like if you want to do a token or create like maybe a token launch or something like that, maybe Aragon or another solution would be good for you. But this is mostly for investment clubs. And it's actually a really nice um, interface. And Andreessen Horowitz just gave them a bunch of VC money. They don't have a coin, but they do have a pretty cool product. So what you can do is pretty much you connect your wallet to this. You've been allowed access, and then you can throw down some money. And for every dollar, you actually get $1 worth of vote. And you can send a link to the different members you want to invite, and they can deposit. So each dollar is one vote, but you can also change voting whether it's each person gets a vote, each dollar gets a vote, or quadratic voting, which is a little more complicated to explain in this video. Um, so you can manage everything, investment, members, NFTs, all in one beautiful interface. Some of these DAO creators are kind of clunky because you don't want to have to deal with Etherscan. Like that's that's the thing. It's like getting an untechnical like Etherscan. No one really wants to have to deal with Etherscan for transactions and stuff. This is just not pretty. So we're going to go into looking a little bit more into this and actually setting a DAO up. So the beautiful thing is NFTs. What's awesome about this is they allow you to form an LLC, sign legal documents and everything. This is kind of optimized for America. Um, and it just allows you to do everything. It's just like click, 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 and you're done. So if you're worried about taxes or getting everything legally done the right way, this is a great way to start. So let's get started. So then you're in the app. So I've already connected my wallet. Let's create an investment club. Okay, so I have a wallet. Remember this is ERC20, so you're gonna need maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars worth of gas um, right now. So let's go to ETH gas price. See what we're looking at right now. And we're seeing that gas is not that much. It's really not that much at all. So I'd be curious by the time we finish this, how much it would cost. And this is great. Form a legal entity, like I was telling you. So you can form an LLC surrounding this to protect it and bring people together in a in a investment perspective. Um, and they're not partners. Like partners would be legally liable of everyone. They're LLC partners, so they're just liable for their investment that they've put in. Uh, sign legal agreements, meaning everyone's you know we can do this later, and then collect funds and get this going. Okay, let's start an investment club. We can just click this button and create a name. Um, so we can do narrow answer or sharp disease. How about 100 zoo? Okay, great. We're gonna go okay. And they even give us kind of a coin price or a coin name, a coin ticker. Because each dollar you put in actually gives you one of these whozos. Maybe it's a vote. Maybe it's a dollar you've contributed to. Everything else is gonna go on in your DAO. Let's, let's make this, okay, I've got a couple buddies. We all wanna put five, 
a thousand in five thousand bucks all right um, we're gonna make sure everyone does this quick uh, so if they're into it they're into it if they're not they're not because we want to get this started so I'm giving everyone a week I've got five buddies to do this let's just say six in case someone drops out maybe seven in case two people drop out and we can really fix people in at the end you can do up to 99 uh oh but we are actually gonna just make this seven for now and then we're going to create the investment link we click the okay all right so now we just click review click the box and we're going to click create my investment club now let's see how much gas this is going to cost us insufficient who 124 i mean this is a demo video so i'm obviously not going to create this but you know there's a little east gas eth gas that uh that is involved in this so just be uh uh know that and so we we create the dow the other way is we can create a dow over here so let's create a dow with Aragon. So this allows you to create a few different types of DAOs, you know, a governance DAO or a client-based DAO. So in this case, we're going to just use Aragon Client. All right, so we're going to choose Aragon Client. This is what I love about this one is you can actually create, obviously, you can really drop this down. I love Polygon just because it's so cheap and everyone uses it. Connect it with MetaMask. Connect this one. So if we can just do this, open an existing one, we're going to just go, you need at least two ETH. All right. Connect it to Ethereum. So sometimes you can actually do this. It looks like you actually need to do this with Ethereum as well. So a DAO maker that actually works on XDAI is also available. And I will link that to, the, uh, to a link in the description. This is just showing you another possibility. It doesn't quite have as clean of an interface. So I would really focus on, on uh, this one right here, syndicate.io, if you're going to really build a DAO. Okay, let's go over to multi-sig right now. So say you got the basic DAO formation going, whether that's with Aragon or over here with uh, Syndicate. And what is multi-sig? So multi-sig allows you, you know, if I was creating a DAO and I was the creator, I'd have five buddies jump in or four other buddies. And each of them would have to trust that I'm managing their $5,000. All the decisions would be made through, through me. All of them would be made through my authorization. Yes, we would vote on stuff, but theoretically I could do whatever I wanted if I was in control of the money and uh, being the only signer. However, when, you're at, when you start adding a few more people and you want it to be a little more safe and you don't trust everyone involved, then you can do uh, Genosis Safe, which allows a multi-sig. And uh, essentially what this is, is trusted by a bunch of huge ones. So Synthetics, Aave, Balancer, they have a web, desktop, mobile. And essentially what it does is it allows teams or individuals to multi-sig sign off on transactions. Okay, we are gonna buy $1,000 worth of ETH. Um, how many people vote for that? Do you confirm, confirm, confirm? And you can have five people in there and only two people have to confirm to push it through in terms of like actually authorizing the transaction. So I myself can't make all the decisions. There has to be one other person authorizing saying, oh yeah, you're doing the right thing. So it just, it just gives peace of mind. And you connect it to MetaMask, Wallet Connect, Ledger, all sorts, of, all sorts of wallets. And they have a bunch of different apps that are actually connected with it. And this is interesting. They have DeFi integrations, gasless. This is interesting, gasless signatures. So you're not doing anything with Ethereum. It's open source, formally vetted. And it just goes into what we are. So really interesting thing. You even have an app. So when these multi-sig things pop up, you can then confirm via the app, which is super cool. All right. So this tells you how to jump in and do it. But we can maybe jump in and see what this is like right now. Um, so now we're in Genosis. Let's see if we can zoom in here for you. I'm trying to Genosis safe um, .io slash app. All right. So this is what this looks like. I'm always a big fan of Polygon when doing any of these things uh, because Polygon is just so cheap. All right, so let's connect the wallet. Remember, you can always connect to MetaMask. We're going to use a demo wallet. All right, so switch the network. All right, so now we're here. So this one actually allows you to use Polygon. All right, so we're going to create a new safe. <clears throat> um, Switch the network to make sure it's safe. Okay, we're on Polygon. Okay, we're gonna continue. We're gonna name this um, Great New Multisig. 
All right, let's continue on that. Owner name, so this is gonna be 4B60E, Evan. I'm gonna add another guy named Taylor. I'm gonna add another nine named Brad. And then we're gonna add Chad over here. So these are some of the some of the dudes that will be in this group. So you just throw their uh, wallets in here and it gives them access to be part of the multi-sig. And then this is the great part. Do you wanna have a one out of the four owners? Well, that doesn't necessarily make sense. I think the, the thing too, if you're gonna have, you know, dude over here. So we have five people here total. It'd just be helped to have two out of five sign off in different signatures. So, you know, it's not just one rogue person making transactions, it's, you know, could be two people or even three people is nicer. So two guys can't just gang up and do stuff with funds if you guys aren't already friends. All right, so let's continue there. Okay, I need to throw in the addresses right now. So we can go do that. All right, so I just put this all together, threw in some addresses I found on Etherscan. And let's see what happens. Okay, so these are all Matic based. Great new multisig, four out of five signers need to do this. And we are gonna take approximately 0.22 um, to create a new safe on Polygon, you have to con confirm a transaction with your con currently connected wallet that will cost approximately 0 0.0222 Matic, which is not much at all. And the amount will be determined in your wallet. And I should have a little Matic in there. So let's go over there. Unknown processing time. Usually this is extremely quick on Polygon. So waiting for your transaction to happen. Let's just pause this. All right, so this is gonna take a little while, so I'm not gonna walk through it, but you know how to start it. And just to move my screen, you start with waiting for the transaction confirmation, uh, transaction submitted, validating transaction, deploying smart contract. So it's as simple as that. I'm gonna just keep this URL showing up. Okay, so now we have a DAO. We've built a investment club either on, let's go over here to make this look nice, Syndicate. Um, possibly Aragon or Aragon, which is over here. And we probably choose uh, Aragon client because it's not ERC-20 or everything's ERC-20 in this world. But we could then go over to the next thing, which is, okay, we have multi-sig, we have a DAO. Now actually, how do we actually get people to vote on things? And that's the thing, it's like, okay, do we use a Discord? You can always use a Discord, throw polls up. That works perfectly fine. But if you want something a little bit more official, uh, this is called snapshot.org. This is what many of the big shots like Pancake, Olympus, Decentralized, Decentraland, Bouncer, they're using this exact product. So what's so cool is you can actually use it too. And this can then be your decentralized uh, voting platform that actually allows you to cast a vote. So you connect your wallet and everyone would also connect the other people that are in your DAO and you'd be able to vote on things. You create a space, so test, test voting. In order to do this, you need an ENS, you need an ETH name server domain, which you can just go search like, you know, buy an ENS domain. And remember, this is a few extra steps, um, ETH ENS domains. So this is another way of doing it, and you know, it does cost a little bit, you pay yearly, but it's nice to have your ENS domain. So remember, the other step is, is Discord and polls. So if you wanna just do it the simple way, if you're gonna start being a little more formal, then you'd upgrade to Snapshot, but uh, just a simple Discord poll would work, and then you just create your own Discord server. All right, so this is how you simply create a DAO. I know I just did a broad overview, I didn't go deep in any of the different steps, but if you are interested in any particular step, uh, you know, specifically, let me know what, what, uh, what you're looking for. Uh, just to summarize, we started at syndicate.io. Uh, this is the investment club. We also opted to Aragon, which is another possibility for DAO creation. We went over to Genosis safe safe.io. This is where we do multi-sig, where we authorize a few different people to make decisions rather than just one per person being in control of all the money. And then we headed over to Snapshot if we wanted to be a little techy about DAO voting rights. We would use Snapshot, which is a great option, a little more complicated than needed. You could just go over to Discord, create a server, and throw some polls out. So this is how you create a DAO. And let me know if you have any questions. Remember, uh, there's a link to the course in the description about how to make passive income in the DeFi space. 
also just how to onboard and get deep into DeFi, know all the bits and pieces about how to um, function and navigate the DeFi space. So if that's something you're interested in, check the link. If not, I will talk to you guys soon.